afraid I have more bad news for you. Reza has now officially become a murder suspect. That's a dead dragon. That's a dead derg. Hi, Adin. Oh no, you said. The nerve of that guy. He probably wouldn't be so uptight if it wasn't for that thing with his girlfriend a few years ago. Okay, so sup everyone, welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. Back to back recording. And by back to back, I mean the set the next day I recorded the the previous episode. So yeah, we're back where we left off when we met uh, Adine. Well, she actually just got food for me, but and also we met with Adi, uh, not Adine, but Anna, who was pretty rude. But I don't know. I mean, she had a little bit of problems. Oh, and also from the previous episode, I'm really sorry. Well, when I had to talk with Anna, I'm really sorry that the whole screen was put to the oh don't worry something went wrong I'm gonna fix it like what I put usually when I live stream so yeah I'm sorry about that now I changed up the button so I have to con press uh, control and then page up so haha big brain right now <laughs> okay so let's get to the game another day another morning I awoke from dreams filled with fire and smoke the sun shining through the window gave me a comforting feeling of familiarity, despite the portal in the distance reminding me of my purpose here. Oh wait, listen to the at the end of this uh, soundtrack. You could hear the metronome, like right now. Just listen. If you can hear it, that's. It's going on four. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But yeah, let's get into the game. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just really thought, oh, there's a metronome in the background, so I should mention that. But you know what? Never mind. Let's get to the continue the game. Uh, I looked towards the horizon, my view undisturbed by dividing walls. The light of the morning sun was painting the sky with golden hues. A view that had become a rarity back home. It awoke the feeling of freedom and openness. Openness that was almost scary to me. Fucking metronome. I can still hear the metronome in the background. <laughs> ah. <laughs> While I got ready for today, my thoughts strayed to the people I knew back home. I couldn't help but wonder how they were doing. But I had greater things to worry about at the moment, like Reza, murders and generators. How much danger was I in, really? Oh, someone's at the door. Hey Jason. Hey Chief, more bad news? Not quite, unless you count Reza still missing as bad news. But that's kind of why I'm here. Well, what is it? No, wrong button. Oh, it's skip mode. Oh, I was terrified. Just some good old fashioned police work. And we're counting on your help. Again. Another murder? I'm not really in the mood of looking for Sure, sign me up. <laughs> Great. I want to help him out. We obtained a list of places Reza visited in the days before he vanished. We'll check those out, maybe find a lead, and you might help us understand his motivations or give us some context to, this, to his actions. I can certainly try. That's all you have to do. That is reassuring. Are you ready to go? Sure, let's go. There's a couple of places we can check out. Let's see where we should go first. While Bryce focused on his list, I saw someone approach out of the corner of my eye. A closer rook... Rook, yeah. <laughs> Fucking rook mains. <laughs> A closer look revealed that it was Sebastian, 
waving his arm in an attempt to get our attention as he ran towards us, his face grave. There you are, chief. I was looking for you. What are you doing here? Don't tell me there's another dead person. Sorry, chief. There is. Damn. Guess it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, looks that way. Someone else can take care of that today, though. We've got other plans. You'll need to sign off a few things, at least. I know, I know. We'll go to the crime scene, sign a few forms, and then we're out. Don't tell me that's someone I know. When we arrived at the scene, I saw the poor victim next to one of the houses. The obligatory sheet that was draped over him provided a modicum of discretion, but did nothing to hide the crime that had occurred. Alright, give me the story. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. The wounds match those of the last victim, so a similar, if not identical, murder weapon is likely. The victim, maintenance person for this area, and the electricity is out, the power goes out, maintenance guy shows up and is killed before he can fix the problem. At least that's my theory. So the power of the whole block is still out? That is correct. We should get that fixed as soon as possible. We don't need civilians showing up around here complaining about sitting in the dark. Good point. Price's snout wrinkled with distaste as he glanced over Sebastian's shoulder. Oh, damn, not again. What is it? What are you doing here, Maverick? A second victim. <coughs> A second victim, huh? This is an official investigation. So you better not cross that police line. Shunned by my own colleagues. This is ridiculous. You know how it is. Rules are rules. And without rules, murders like this one would be allowed to happen and go unpunished. <laughs> Have your fun without me then. What do you think he wanted here, Chief? That one's easy, to do his own investigation, just like he said he would. I shouldn't be surprised he showed up, but I guess we're lucky we arrived before he did. I agree. We better check out that power outage now. Of course, I think the door to the maintenance room is right around here. You got your flashlight, Seb? Always, Chief. You should go first, then. I don't have my stuff here. Besides, putting on that head mount is such a hassle. I remember. You complain about that every time I, it comes up. There. That should do the trick. Is that a piano? You just stay behind me, Jason. Alright? Okay. Yeah, I hate stairs, especially those made for smaller dragons like you. Trust me, having it the other way around isn't too great either. I'll say nothing. This kind of reminds me of when we found that underground base, or whatever it was. Remember, Chief? How could I not? It wasn't that long ago. Also, it shows the line where the light shows where we are right now. Underground base. Yeah, 
The portal wasn't the only piece of ancient technology we found. There was also this whole lab near it. Seems to have some high-tech stuff in there. At least that place didn't have as many stairs. Wait, so you not only found the portal, but a whole facility along with it. Yes, but we're not sure how much the two are actually related. We spent all the time studying the portal and barely got anywhere with it. This stuff is just beyond what we know. Here we are. Look, I really like this story, okay? Right now. I really love the game right now. It's awesome. So there was the piano and there is nothing. So what exactly are we looking for? Whatever is causing the power outage. If we don't find the cause, we should at least be able to get the backup running. Isn't that the little hatch down there? Looks like the generator is gone. Mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the stillness of the room. Then we hear bang, bang. Fuck me. I, I got scared. <laughs> oh, I should turn down the volume for myself. Holy shit. I got ear raped by glass. I looked above towards the source of the noise as it grew louder. And in the next instant, I was pushed sideways and fell to the ground, just barely avoiding the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered into countless pieces alongside me. Jason, are you alright? The next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. Who the hell are you? I love your mask. I'm not gonna lie. Which one was button? Hot? Yay, H is the... Hide the words. Holy shit, he looks good. I like his mask. If I had a chance to have this kind of mask, I would wear it until I die. <laughs> not gonna lie. Or if I find a better mask. So, the figure crouched down next to me. Its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. Be careful, Jason. Then the figure dashed towards the stairs. Where are you going? That, that's not me. Don't move. He's going up the stairs. I'm on it. I didn't see that chair coming. I can't see a damn thing in here. <laughs> here, chief. I hate these stupid stairs. You're blocking the way. Just go around me. There's no room. You're as wide as the stairs are. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, damn it. We'll never catch him now. By the time we... By the team... Oi, me team! <laughs> by the time we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be found. We've got a long search ahead of us, and with a headed start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. What even happened down there? Right. Jason, tell us everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard the noise, I looked up, the light fixture came down, then someone pushed me. You mean Reza? I'm not sure. Didn't you see him? 
Whoever it was, was wearing a mask. It bloody well can't be someone else, so let's not kid ourselves here. Why would he wear that whole getup, though? Uh, I think he didn't want to be recognized, but at the same time camouflage, because did you see his clothes? They were dark, like brownish dark, and it could bl it blended with the background a bit. But he couldn't be recognized. That's a bad excuse when there are only two humans here. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your earlier theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that, and add the bit about the generator being stolen. So, now the question is, who has a motive of stealing a generator? It could be anyone, really. Technically, yes, but it's unlikely that someone who lives here would resort to stealing a generator when they could easily buy or even just request one. It's not really the kind of thing that would get stolen around here. How about Reza? I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. <laughs> Maybe it was a dragon in disguise. <laughs> what would he do? Why would he have stayed here if he stole it? Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got there, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminal has returned to the crime scene. For this kind of crime, I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offense, but ever since you two humans arrived, there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. <laughs> Maybe it's... So you think it was Reza? Honestly, things aren't looking great for him right now. It's still our top priority to find him, but after what we have seen here today, I'm not sure what will happen when we do. I just don't want to give you any false hope, you know. I see. Maybe we should find focus on finding him and point fingers later. Agreed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have the list of places we are going to check out, remember? We can't go now, but the search takes priority. Of course, we'll still check out those places after we're done here. But if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You could even find the lead for us. Who knows? Sure thing. Great. Here's the list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places. But if anything happens, call me, and I'll check up on you later. Wait a minute. You mean I'm going all by myself? All of us are going to be busy with the search, and we can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried they'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault, and he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go alone. I already know where you are going, and besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Reza, you wouldn't have run off with him when you had the chance. Good point. Ah, I see the team approaching. Guess you should get going. Alright, I'll see you later then. Good luck. 
I didn't get to see the body. Oh no. <laughs> but it was interesting. I got pushed by some human and I and I think it was Reza, but at the same time. Isn't there a chance that someone else just like jumped into the portal while no one was around? Like before we find it? Before we found it or someone else in some different place? Like another portal? I don't know. Okay, it was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached into my pocket to take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get here? My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. As for Tatsu, the word related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I had come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was the place the mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light. Even if that park was the place with mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light fixture, but if it was Reza, it would mean following someone who was also the prime suspect of two murders. Oh yeah, wasn't there a thing that if a person commits like one murder that's like he's a murderer but if he commits two then he's a serial killer like serial serial killer something like that like if he does that in one day i'm not quite sure about that but let me know i also had to consider the list of places reza had been to a local grocery store the production facility we had visited and the library were the three places closest to here it certainly was going to be a busy day, and I knew I wouldn't have time to visit all of them. Uh, I think I should go... You know what, wait, I have an idea. Save. Good slot. Now I'm gonna go to Tatsu Park because of the paper. I'm tempted to go there. So I'm gonna go there. Grocery store. I think there's nothing there. Probably like I'm gonna meet someone like Adin. Production facility, probably like uh, Remy I would meet there. Library, I don't know who, like Anna. I don't know who I would meet. Just someone. But I should go to the Tatsu Park. I know I might be messing up, but hey. It had the mysterious paper and it says Tatsu, so I'm gonna go there. Tatsu Park, here I am. I don't know what I'm even looking for though. Read the sign. This park is dedicated to our creator, to whom we owe our sentience and existence. As it is our duty to rem remember, this place honors them every day with its beauty and grants a place of recreation and contemptation to all of us. So I read the sign. Look at the map. This park is bigger than I thought. I could go north towards Datsu Avenue, which apparently is a nice spot to look at the landscape, or south to the political district. Where should I go? I'm gonna stay. Search the shrubbery? Yeah, this totally won't look strange or suspicious. Here we go. I found some dirt. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> so it's just shrubbery. Search the pavilion. What? You never know what you'll find around the pavilion. Let's do this. Wait, pavilion is the type of like field or what? There doesn't seem to be anything important here. But at least it provided excellent shade. So you know what? let's go to the map. Let's go to Tatsu Avenue because I'm still gonna go with the word Tatsu.
examined the fallen leaves. I don't recognize the species of tree. Fuck it, press on the bench. Finally, a place to sit down. The view of scenery is perfect. Yay. That was nice. I was just about to get up when I noticed someone sitting next to me. Whoa, I didn't see you there. I thought you were a statue or something. No, it happened again. <laughs> Hello? Well, maybe it is a statue. Or it just turned invisible. I hope it's not the latter. Wait, how do I know the dragon's name? Did you see that? How there was a name? How did I know it? Fuck! Open! Oh, fuck it! Open the hatch. On the metal covering of the hatch, there are two buttons, which are situated to the left and to the right, of a central circular lever. The arrow on the lever is pointing up. Ah. Uh. I don't know. First button? First button is now pressed and sits flush in the metal covering of the hatch. Second button? It's pressed and sits flush in the metal covering of the hatch. Turn clockwise. The arrow of the lever is now pointing right. Again! The arrow is levering. The arrow on the lever is now pointing down. Likewise, the arrow of the lever is pointing left. Wait, did I get it in the first try? What the fuck? This puzzle was simple. <laughs> I looked down to see the maintenance tunnels for the underground drain system. A pale object sparkly contrasted against the pitch black back backdrop. What the fuck is that? It's a cloth with suspicious red markings all over it. Finders keeper, <laughs> if you acquire a bloody bandage. I guess that's all to be found down here. Imagine if I went up and the hatch was just closed. <laughs> I'd be dead. Uh, go back. So I got the bandage. Uh, look at the map. Let's go to the political district. Just as I entered the southern part of the park, I found myself tumbling to the ground when someone suddenly bumped into me. Ow! Yeah, sorry about that. Are you alright? Besides being a little dirtier than before, I think so. I should really look where I'm going. Sometimes I just get lost in my thoughts. Hey, I think you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Ghost stories, huh? Yep. Oh, I should probably go before the bookstore is closed. Bye. Again, how do I know his name? <laughs> Bye. There's someone sitting on the benches. Approach the dragon. Approach the derg. <laughs> no offense. She kind of looks like a mix between a dragon and a goblin with feathers or something. <laughs> ah, god fucking damn it. Okay. What a most pleasant surprise to be meeting you here, Jason. Do you know who I am? I'm afraid I don't. Then let me fill the gap in your knowledge. My name is Emera, and I am the Mis Minister of Culture and Arts. I see. And what brings you here today, Jason? I'm not quite sure of that myself. Ah, the park does have an appeal that naturally draws people in. I would know since I'm partly responsible for creating it. Have you seen the north side yet? If not, you totally should. It's just so pretty this time of year. 
you created this park? Well, sort of. Do you see the building behind me? That's where I work. Do you want to know a secret? The park was built here so I could enjoy going outside on my breaks. Like right now, for example. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me, for sure, but whatever I can answer or not is another question. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what would you like to know? I'm gonna ask about the park. Can you tell me more about the tattoo park? Well, I'm not so sure where is that much to say about it. It just opened recently. I think the initial request was for more open spaces, like a dedicated place for people to gather and such. If you read The Plague, you know what the park was dedicated to our so-called creator. I say creator like that because I think that word's a bit of a misnomer, but I suppose people still use it regardless. I'm gonna ask about the visit. What do you think about us visiting the world? You and Reza? Well, I think it's about the most exciting thing that has happened here in the last few years. It certainly has been a nice distraction from the other boring things I have to do at work. How so? Arranging your arrival was part of my responsibility. In fact, I would have been at the portal to, be to welcome you myself if something didn't come up at the last second. Okay, so if uh, she had the time, then I couldn't meet Remy. Ask about her job. Can you tell me more about your job? I could, but I think overall it's a very boring affair. It involves a lot of reading and talking and approving of or rejecting forms and projects had its perks, but in some ways I'll certainly be happy when my term is over. If you've been a minister once, that's something people will remember you for. Even if those times are long past, no one can ever take that away from you again. You mentioned your term ending. How does that work here? We, the ministers, serve our term, and when someone else takes our place, only one minister changes at all time, though. Technically speaking, any person can become a minister, though there are certain standards and requirements that must be met in order to apply for office. I don't, I don't want to bore you with the details, as that too would be a long and tedious affair. Okay, that's all. I suppose I should be getting back to work anyway. Well, thank you for the most pleasant conversation, Jason. You know, if you wanted to continue talking at a later time, you should have no difficulty contacting me. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so there's nothing here. Yep, let's go back to Tatsu Avenue. I'm gonna rest again. Wait, I'm already well rested. Shouldn't waste any more time. Go back. Again, I guess I should look harder this time. I can search that. I can search it up more. No, it seems there is just still dirt to be found here, and I don't think I'll need more than what I already have. Did I just do it again? Uh, pavilion again. Again, I, sh I guess I should look harder this time. No, nothing here. I don't think I'll find anything else here. So I went to there, there was nothing. Uh, visit the library. Please observe silence at all times. What? 
I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, Reza. What did you want here? Hey, it's Remy. I already told you it's not here. Who's he talking to? Adin? Won't you help out an old friend? F friend? This is the first time you've spoken to me in years. And whose fault is that? For you, I didn't even exist these last few years. At least I tried to reach out for you. Or out to you, damn it! No, you're just here because you want something. I'm right here, right now, and you still continue to act like that. She was my friend too, you know? I think you should leave. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. It's a little late for apologies. Have it your way then. Adin stormed out so quickly that she didn't even notice me. I waited a few moments and wondered if it was a good time to talk to Remy. In the end, I decided that my task was too pressing to come back at another time. I shuffled through books and tried to look busy until I noticed that he resumed his work so I could approach him. Hello Jason, how can I help you? Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. What did Adin want from you? Wait, you were here the whole time? No, the whole time I just... Not the whole time, just long enough to know what that something's up. It's nothing that concerns you. Come on, it does concern me. I know you, and I know Adin. It's really nothing of great importance. Are you aware of certain prehistoric underground building was recently discovered? I've heard of it. She wanted the blueprint of it, which was one of the things found inside the building during the investigation. Why would you have it? We're not just a library, you know, but a whole archive that stores all sorts of information and objects. In any case, a blueprint is the kind of thing that would be placed in our care, eventually. So, she thinks you have it. Even if we did, it wouldn't be something we could give out to anyone. Of course. Has Reza been here recently? Reza? He's visited quite often since he arrived, actually. Until a few days ago, that is. Did you know what he was do reading? Not particularly. I thought he just wanted to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him while he was there? Can't say I did, though he did ask me for a map once. A map? Yes, I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. Did he talk to you about anything strange while he was there? Or here? I should learn what was he there on here. Besides the maps, nothing else worth mentioning comes to mind. Only the usual pleasantries. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Damn it! I forgot the how deep his voice is. Fuck! Especially Sebastian's. You know what? The more I think of it. Okay, wait, no. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department, and I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. I'm not sure how my findings will help, but at least I have something. Look who we have here. Wait, right one? I turned around to see Maverick. His in his intense gaze confirmed that there was no one else his words could have been directed at. Even with the civilians passing by the background, I suddenly felt very alone. What do you want from me? Answers. Okay, then start talking. 
Just tell me one thing. Why? What is your goal in all of this? Why even come here? You, you know why. We came in as ambassador and do what we see the trade we agreed on. No, no, no. That wouldn't do. That's simply not true. You know it, and I know it. I just don't get why you can't be honest with me, even when you know no one else is listening. You know I can't touch you. If I did, it would be over for me. At least as long as I don't have any proof. In the end, what difference does it make if I know? No one is going to believe me anyway. Do you wish to kill me too? Like Reza? I will never do such a thing. Is that so? Tell me, why would an ambassador need such a dangerous tool in the first place? I know you claim not to have one of these things Reza injured me with, and you didn't have any when they searched you. But I guess it's way too late for safety precautions at this point. You could have hidden one anywhere. That damn hurt, you know. But even worse than what was getting thrown aside by Bryce. I trust him, but after what happened, he doesn't trust me anymore. Now, there's only you. The mythical. The special. The new. How much I wish I could make him see what I see. I could have saved the world with what I did that day, and it still wouldn't matter when no one believes me. Just because I don't have any proof. But I won't stop until I find some. And when I do, I'm gonna be a damn hero. Maverick? Calm down. We can talk to this, okay? Calm down. I want to find Reza as well as you do. And I want to beat the living fuck out of him. Because he fucking shot you, okay? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> and if he even killed those two dragons, I'm still gonna be the fucking shit out of him because he killed someone. <laughs> okay. And with that, he was gone. On the way to the police station, Maverick's words kept finding their way back into my mind. I couldn't decide how to feel about them. I wasn't even sure if it was worth mentioning to the police since all he did was make vague accusations. It wasn't anything substantial enough to be considered a threat. However, his actions were growing more calculated, and he seemed very sure of himself. I wondered about what this could amount to. But that wasn't the problem at hand. Hey Jason. Hey, Sebastian. I thought I'd met you at the front desk. What are we doing in Bryce's office? He does have a nice office, doesn't he? And the chairs are comfy. Is that the only reason we're in here? The dragon gave a brief chuckle. Let's just say that any information pertaining to this case is important enough to warrant some privacy. I see. Will Bryce be here anytime soon? I don't think so. He's still outside looking for Reza. He's not the kind of person who gives up easily. That sounds like him. That's Bryce for you. Once he sets his mind on something, he sees it through the end. That's why he's our chief. He gets things done. At this rate, it doesn't look like we'll find him in today. He could be anywhere, long gone, beyond our reach. What do you think? Do I don't think he's going anywhere. He can't flee to another place. No matter where he goes, he'd be recognized immediately. In the end, his only way out is the same way he got in. The portal. And he can't use that without someone noticing. 
very astute observation. I wonder what will happen to our trade agreement now, considering Reza's still missing, the murders, and the stolen generator. If Reza really is the murderer, then... Don't do that. What? Don't worry. You don't know what's at stake here. People are dead, Jason. Do you think I don't know that? Reza may be our prime suspect, but he's also a missing person. For all we know, he could have been a victim. Maybe someone is making him do this. My point is, he doesn't know the facts yet. What we need to do is find him and find the murderer. We'll find Reza and go from there. We'll figure it out. Thanks, Sebastian. Anyway, you said you had some information for us. So, what did you find? The bandage you found is something, alright. Of course, it could be anyone's. But why would someone discard theirs in a place like that? It seems suspicious to me, and it's certainly worth checking out. I'll make sure it gets to the right place. The map in the library. I don't know what to think about that. He could have been... He could have needed a map to plan something, I suppose. But who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's the kind of detail that, on its own, might not tell us much, but could be crucial later on. Well done, Jason. That gives us some solid points for, from the which we can continue our investigation. Yay! I did well on my second investigation. Wait! Fuck! I messed up on the first investigation. Okay, I got it. Because of the hemorophilia. Or hammer what was it when the blood doesn't clot yeah if i didn't fuck up that one little thing i could have got the perfect first <laughs> investigation in any case thanks for your help we really do appreciate it you're welcome that should be all then since bryce still hasn't come back i assume the search is still going on and i better get out there and help him Guess it's going to be a long day. Can you find your way back to your apartment? Of course. Alright, I'll see you later. Good luck. Finally, some free time. What am I going to do? None of these! <laughs> because I have to end. This is going to be a bit more shorter than the last one. If the last one was hours long, like an hour and a bit more, then this is going to be a bit shorter, about 40 minutes or something, I don't know. Depends on how much I will cut out. Because in the previous, I was recording on, for a, an hour and 20 minutes, or an hour and 30 minutes, I don't know. Something, something like that. But yeah. So. The status. Good, good. All of them are neutral. Now, save over this one. So yeah. This is gonna be great. Okay, thank you for watching Angels and Scaly Wings. So, in quick summary, what happened now? We met with this strange guy in in a hood and in a mask, which I fucking adore because the mask looks fucking amazing. <laughs> How many times can I say fucking? <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we. Wait, how did it all start? Yeah, like, Bryce came, we went to the first investigate to the second investigation, where, uh, there was another dead body, generator was gone, someone pushed me in a mask, uh, I looked around town, and yeah, great, great news on how this video, like, how this part goes. I actually hope you're enjoying this as well as I do, because... Holy shit, this game, or visual novel, is fucking amazing. I mean, if you 
want to see any type of different diff uh, visual novel where I could read something, let me know. Especially if the visual novel is good or you enjoyed it. Because here's the thing, I want to do things that other th other people enjoy because I want to know what other people enjoy. Okay, <laughs> I just not I don't know. It's just a thing. So yeah. Thank you for watching Angels with Scaly Wings. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then drop a like or dislike. Or do whatever you want. Because if you're happy, I'm happy. And also subscribe. But that's just if you want to. It just depends on you. So yeah. Uh, I want to see you all guys later. And remember. If your day was shit, don't worry. It's not the last day on the earth.